connecting together just beautifully and perfectly, uh, including not just our communal life together, but also your home life. So I just wanted to, real quick before we start, you will notice that uh, this order of prayer is something that you might borrow at home. In fact, you'll even see hints of it and parts of it and pieces on this ascension at prayer. We gave this some extra attention this year. And you'll find on here elements of the ways that God's people have learned to pray throughout history. And there's quite a few of them. In fact, uh, it might be overwhelming. Just like if you pray matins this morning and you're new to it, it might feel a little bit overwhelming. You'll say, do this at home? What, are you crazy? Well, believe it or not, people do it and it's beautiful. But here on this Ascension of Prayer, I just wanted to give you permission and help you to understand that this is a collection of many good things of which you might pick just one or just a handful to do as a regular discipline at home. For instance, there's a verse for every week. Did you know that? It's always on the front of your bulletin. The verse for this week, would you read it with me? It's the verse. It's down, uh, it's the second heading there. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. That's Psalm 147, 2 and 3. So one way that God's people have prayed throughout the years and the ages has been to find one verse, one passage like this, an important one, one that kind of fits in with everything that we're doing, and they meditate on that one verse. And they do that all week long. All morning, they write it on a piece of paper, they keep it in their pocket right where their keys are, and every time they go for their keys, or they put it in the back of their phone, they see that verse, and they pause when they see it, and they remember it. And in their prayers every morning, they think about that verse over and over again. That'd be a beautiful way to have a priority in the midst of your day of worship at home, together with your loved ones. And then, of course, there's other things on here. Uh, there's the Daily Word Bible Story for Children. If you have families at home, you might want to read this Bible story out of God's Word and make that your, your daily discipline, your time coming together. There's also ways for adults to really read through large portions of Scripture together or listen to them on your phone on your way into work, which is what I do. There's a catechism lesson. This is the same catechism lesson that corresponds with the um, youth catechism. Uh, the confirmation class is learning exactly this at this time of year. And so they are invited to read this at night. And you might pray this at night. You know, the catechism is meant to be prayed. You pray it as instruction, right? Uh, that's what water is. As thanksgiving. Thank you, God, that water has been made a blessed flood for me in baptism as confession. Father, forgive me. I don't always look on your creation. I don't look on your baptism this way. As a prayer, Father, help me. <laughs> whenever I take a shower in the morning, whenever I say in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit to know your baptism, your forgiveness, your life is for me. And as a promise, Father, thank you that that is for me and I know it and I claim that and I will live in my baptism this week. Now, if you pray that little thing five times, by the end of it, you think you have it memorized? It's not going to leave you. It's going to keep playing in your heart. And that's the aim of catechism. Catechism is just, it's, it's an old-fashioned word for repeat, right, for response. And, um, and the prayers are organized that you might take one or two of these things and let them be something you learn by heart, a way of learning God's word by heart so that he's with you wherever you go as your priority amid a busy life. Some food for thought. As we join together in our prayers... For matins, asking God to bless this upcoming season of education and ministry and our witness to our nation and our loved ones and our community and our world. Would you please stand as we begin in prayer? Oh, 